sometimes the sadness that's inside can be so very hard to Having worked in the music industry in Leeds for so long, I was very pleased to be able to set up the trust and to be able to develop the studio into a social enterprise. What this has meant is that we can continue to work with professional bands and musicians in, on the local circuit. But at the same time, open the doors to younger musicians and to people in difficult circumstances so that everybody can gain something from playing live music. The idea behind setting up the trust was that we wanted as many people as possible, no matter what their circumstances, to be able to improve their skills and their general well-being uh, through making live music and to pass that on to the wider community. Old Chapel Studios for four years uh, now for the Outsiders. Our main aim is to support people with learning disabilities and mental health issues to lead a fulfilling life, whatever that means to them. <laughs> it's been a good experience but I've moved up to a bigger step every week. I like going to Old Chapel Studios, I like singing, I like performing, it's really good, you know. Yeah. My name's Chris. I've been coming down to the Old Chapel for about 15 years. I'm now on the board of trustees of the Leeds Music Trust. The thing with the Old Chapel is it provides a great place to come down, play, whether you're rehearsed for a gig, trying to write some new tracks, or just having a bit of fun. It's a great little hub for musicians, aspiring musicians of all ages and abilities just to come hang out and have a great time. My name's Ben Shand, uh, I own and operate Beach Guitar Repairs based at Old Chapel Studios down in Holbeck. Um, I make and repair guitars for a living. There's uh, quite a list of, of high profile clients that I have. Um, in the workshop I do a lot of work for the Kaiser Chiefs and the Pigeon Detectives um, and lots of professional musicians. I'd say 80% of my client base uh, are professional musicians. They don't get looked after, they do a lot of mileage to these guitars in and out of backs of vans and in venues and they get into some quite bad states. It's, it's always really pleasing for me to, to, to receive a guitar from a customer that's virtually unplayable uh, and then I, I strip it, rebuild it, do the necessary work and give it back to the customer almost as new and, and to see that that smile on the customer's face when he picks it up and goes, "Wow, this is this is like it was ten years ago." That that's where where my buzz comes from. My name is Mike Jolly, and I'm the project coordinator for Cloth Cats, which is a music education charity uh, working with disadvantaged people around Leeds. Music's a real positive outlet for uh, for people, whether that's you know in homelessness or, or people with mental health issues. Well, Cloth Cat will run any kind of projects um, which is based around music, which will be there to help 
um, disadvantaged people around the city of Leeds, including uh, the open mic and the courses that we run. <laughs> sorts of different events and when musicians become more established then they come and play uh, other events for us and raise money for various projects that we're, we're looking at such as the uh, Inkwell um, gigs that we do uh, once a month. <laughs> challenging, it's fun, it's exciting, you meet loads of great people um, and you see people developing in their own lives and um, you know hopefully becoming happier people.